So let's quickly make some horns on this guy. We're going to use that same technique with the IMM primitives. And this time we're going to insert a cylinder. And you'll notice if you click and drag up here, you can actually see some more things. But there isn't any sort of primitive that matches that. So let's just go with the cylinder for starters. And we're going to use the top view, Alt G to bring it back. Click on this guy and just bring out a cylinder roughly in the right place, kind of there. It's going to go in the wrong direction, but that's okay. Now, again, it's masked everything that we haven't done. And this time we're working kind of symmetrically. So when you go back into the move mode, it'll be like this. And what we want to do now is we actually want to replace this with a cone. And it's just so happens that in the gizmo, you can replace these things at any time. And we'll just go into here and you've got a cone. It's the first guy there. So click on that and it's done it kind of the wrong way. So we're just going to undo that and it's just popped over to this side. So there's a few different ways of moving there. The pivot around but I'm just going to go with this and just go to cone and put it there and you can see it's just turned into a cone let's have a look at these guys here if we shift f you can see these guys here will just change the radius of those so you can make them quite dense in ZBrush but not too dense something like that should be fine and now we can go back to our just general gizmo mode which is this one and we can continue to scale now here's a little problem with the symmetry mode is that when you scale it doesn't actually scale from the center in the symmetry mode. It does it for moving and things like that, but it won't actually do it from the scale modes, which is a little bit unfortunate actually. So what we can do is we can take off symmetry mode by hitting X and then control click around that. And that will actually mask that horn off, but not this guy. And now we can just move this one by itself. Now this is gonna break the symmetry, but later on we can just flip mirror it over. So this is pretty easy to do. So what I wanna do is come to the front view and we just wanna concentrate on this horn and get it roughly in the right place. So this is it's really big, but this head is quite flat. So we're going to bring this up and it's going to intersect in. So it shouldn't be so bad. So instead of clicking that, which I'm used to from my scalp here, this is quite new. And ZBrush. And we're going to make that a bit longer because we're going to smooth it out and soften it off. So that's roughly where I want it. And we're going to bring the head up with the, the grab brush or the move tool and set brush and sort of put everything to place. So that's kind of good. Okay, so I've had a little bug here. So I'm going to mention that at this point in time. And this, I think, is just due to the newer versions of ZBrush. But occasionally, the interface will just go missing, particularly in the geometry sections of the custom menu. It's still there in the actual menus, but they just go missing. There are some stuff that's supposed to be there, and it's not good that those are disappearing away. You'll also notice under geometry, buttons just start going missing. Now, it should definitely be there. So to get that back, just simply reload the interface. So we're just going to go Preferences, Config, and we're going to go Load UI. So that'll just load it up again. And that seems to bring it all back. So I'm not sure why ZBrush is doing that. I think that's a little bit buggy. So we'll just work with that. I've also just temporarily here quickly renamed that to color. And we can just close that one down to get that one on the bottom. I really like that on the bottom. It sort of orders it alphabetically. So we'll get a ZBrush color there. And we'll put that on the bottom there. That's a bit better. So I want to get those mirror and welds back. We want to mirror that to that side. Now the mirror always goes the other way, which is a bit odd because it actually mirrors differently depending on what tool you're using in ZBrush. But it, this particular tool here, mirror and weld, always goes from left to right. So what we want to do is we want to unmask that. And I'll just show you this so it's a bit clearer like this. And uh, mirror is actually just flip. So that's flip. And we've got these on hotkeys too. So if you do that, we've flipped it. And now we can mirror and weld from the left to the right. There's a little bit of a line down the middle with the Dynamesh because it is doing a little bit of welding, but ZBrush is totally cool with this. So don't stress. It's not like my where you have to weld verts and stuff. It has to put another line down the middle, but ZBrush handles this stuff really nicely. You can really get away with a lot in ZBrush.